In today's video, we're going to add metadata to the file of our film to make it look like this. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. So, in this quick video today, we're going to add metadata to the file of our movie. What is metadata and why it's important? Well, metadata is basically the data of the data, providing more information about certain aspects of the data itself. When it comes to film and video making, but especially filmmaking on a professional level, metadata is assigned to the footage that's recorded, both audio and video. That kind of metadata usually involves time codes, take numbers, information about the lens and camera settings used. These information are important for post-production as audio files are synced to the footage based on them, but it can be important for other departments as well during post-production. Now, the kind of metadata we will be adding to our films are more fun and provide more interesting data both to the viewer and you. As you can see, if I click on the file of my film here and go into details, it's nothing interesting here. There is this basic cover here, we have information about the resolution, wow, so interesting. All in all, it's just boring. So, let's make it interesting by adding a cover image to the file with data about the film including the director, release date, actors, and so on. I'm going to be using the Uniconverter's Fixed Media Metadata tool. The Uniconverter, by the way, is an all-in-one multimedia toolbox with many features, so make sure that you check it out. It has free features as well. So open the software and click on the Fixed Media Metadata tool. Then you need to import your file. It works with audio files as well, but now we're going to be looking at the case of video files. Now here, fill up all of these data. You can set up what kind of media we're talking about, what kind of film. You can set up the title, the director, the actors, tagline, screenwriters, any other comments, definition, rating. Also choose a cover image file. Ideally, that can be the poster of the film, or you can specifically create a cover image for this purpose. If your film is already on IMDb, for example, if you click on the search button here, the tool automatically finds all the data and fills everything up automatically. And then of course, you can fill up the missing information and change whatever else you want to. You can have all of these information coded into your file, and I think that's really cool. And when you're done, just click on save. Hey guys, so while editing I stumbled upon an issue and I did a lot of research regarding it trying to solve this problem but the problem is with the current, like the macOS system that my, my computer has. So the problem is that even though you're supposed to see all the metadata that a video has, if you go to the show preview options and then you check all the boxes that you want to see information about, but it doesn't show even though the media has the proper metadata. So in order to show you that the video does have the metadata, I'm going to use a, a random metadata viewer software just so I could show you that uh, the tool is working and it's something uh, that you can do and it will work. Um, not on this uh, macOS system, but in general it will. And the video file will have the metadata that we added uh, with the Uniconverter. Now, if you're wondering why this is important, well, I guess you can live without it. But if you're distributing your film, sending it to festivals, producers, studios, with this information, everything looks much more professional. Not to mention that it preserves data about the creators. So let's say your file gets out on the internet, time goes by and then one day somebody finds it, they will immediately know what they have found. Compare this kind of metadata to, to film reel boxes. If you have data written on them, it's much easier to know what to do with it than finding a blank box of film reels. So there you have it an extra tool and piece of information for you. It's all for today. Leave a like if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one, guys.